Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on another video. Today we have such an exciting haul. I literally have five fragrances that I've never smelled before. They're brand new and um, I'm just gonna be unboxing, smelling them, letting you guys know my initial first impression. And this video is with Twisted Lily. You guys know how I love working with them. You guys can use my coupon code Karina10 for 10% off of your niche fragrances. I mean, when do you ever get a discount with niche fragrances? So check out Twisted Lily. They have a variety of different brands on there that are just absolutely fabulous. I'm talking Creed, MFK, Jerzoff, you name it, they have it and they have some super amazing scents on there. So I am so excited. I have a box. Let me show you guys. So I have this humongous box over here. <laughs> full of fragrances and we're just going to go through them. We have some Jizz Off, we have some Memo, um, and some other brands. So let's just get into it. But before we do, if you're new, okay, if you're new, subscribe to this channel. If you haven't already, turn your post notifications on, leave a comment down below and let's get into it. So like I mentioned, these are first impression fragrances. I've never smelled them before, only read up on a couple of notes and that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna start off with one that has been highly, highly requested. You guys have sent me even DMs on Instagram asking when am I gonna review this scent? And I finally have it in my hand and that is Italica from the Casa Moratti line. Look at this box, it's so extravagant. So I had a ton of people asking me to get this scent, to review it. So this is gonna be my first impressions. I've taken off the plastic off of all of the boxes just to like, you know, save some time. Cause you guys know that I can chat, chat, chat about fragrances and I don't want this video to be an hour long. So we have Italica and I really love the Casa Moratti line. So far, all the scents that I've smelled have been pretty amazing. Um, the lasting power, the actual fragrance, the way it makes me um, feel like I just love it. Dama Bianca is my favorite. If you love vanilla scents and you don't have that one, I definitely recommend. So let's get into the Italica. So I love that they actually have the notes right over here on the box. So we have saffron, almond, blended with whispering silky milky notes. There's garnished with bourbon vanilla and a buttery toffee. Ooh, all combined with rich layers of cedarwood, sandalwood, and white musk. Oh my gosh, this sounds very gourmand and very sweet. And from what I've heard, I do think it's going to be very sweet because a lot of people do say it's sweet. So let's open her up. Ooh, look at that bottle. I'm just loving the tone. So here we have that bottle. We still have the tassel right over here with the plastic and it is stunning. I really, really like the color and like the gold, the color combination looks very, very luxe. I know with Jerzoff, his fragrance can be quite potent. So, ooh, this is a dessert in a bottle. Like if you love fragrances that actually smell like an actual dessert, like true gourmand, this to me smells like, I literally don't even need to put my nose close to it. Like just going like that, the smell is there. This is potent. It smells very familiar to me because it's one of my favorite desserts. It smells like an almond butter croissant. Oh, smells just like that. There is an almond butter croissant that I buy from my local grocery store whenever I get the chance because they sell out very fast. They come in fresh from the bakery and this smells exactly like this. It's definitely a lot sweeter. It's very creamy, rich. Oh my gosh, a little spicy. All in all, you are going to get a true gourmand scent, like true gourmand. It's very intoxicating. I don't feel like you have to overspray this one, but mind you, we're doing a first impression, but this is if you love true gourmands, heavy dose of a deep vanilla, because it is bourbon vanilla, that 
Bitterness from the almond is really there. It's creamy from that milky note. Oh my goodness, this is a gourmand. I feel like this scent will work a lot better during fall and summer. I mean, sorry, during fall and winter, 100%, because it's very rich, very decadent, um, quite sweet. Oh, wow. Because I have so many fragrances, I don't want to spray them all on my skin, but I am going to spray this one just to see. The opening, you're going to get that vanilla and that almond instantly. The almond is right there. It's a bitter almond, but it's still very good. It's very nutty. The vanilla is instantly there also. It's a very rich, deep vanilla. Very creamy fragrance, like super, super creamy, rich, decadent. Again, very intoxicating. Oh my God, this is delicious. Like the only word to describe this scent is delicious. So the next scent that I have is from Memo. This is their newest launch. It is called Argentina. I have been really trying to get my hand on Sintra, but that scent has been sold out all over the place for the longest time. I don't know what's wrong, but I did hear that it's a very beautiful, sweet scent. But this is their latest one, Argentina. Well, the sticker actually does come off. It's not a sticker. It's like a postcard. It always comes at the uh, top of the box, but it is a postcard as you guys can see. I really wish that it was kind of like part of the box. I'm not going to lie because this is very like artistic and beautiful. And a lot of their boxes come with these stunning like uh, postal cards. So I wish it was part of the box because this just looks, you know, it looks okay. It looks okay. And then when you open it up, here is the that fragrance. I really like the elegance of the Memo bottles. They're very, very simple, but just really elegant. And I love that the artwork from the postal card is on the actual bottle. So you still get to enjoy that beautifulness from the bottle. It does have quite a bit of weight to this fragrance. So that is what it looks like up close. So you guys can have a look at that. Very pretty, right? So with Argentina, it is that rose oud type of combination. We see it with a lot of different brands and this is Memo's take on that. Uh, just looking up the notes, there is rose, Turkish rose, there's oud, there is musk, jasmine, there's also also pink pepper, magnolia. We have some Egyptian jasmine in there. So definitely a fruity, uh, a floral scent with a lot of like woodsy tones in there. So excited to smell this one. I'm also going to spray that inside of the box. So just two sprays. It does have quite a bit of abrasive when it comes to the atomizer. It's not super smooth. Mmm, okay. This is definitely a rosy oud combo. It's slightly reminding me of MFK's, um, what do you call that scent? So it's slightly reminding me of Oud Saint Mood by MFK. But this one I want to say is a little bit more animalic when it comes to that oud note. Like I'm definitely picking it up. So those of you who love like a true oud note with a more animalic um, aspect to it, this is a great option. You're definitely going to get the rose and the jasmine in here. It's totally unisex. It's not feminine, leaning feminine, or leaning too masculine. It is a true unisex scent. And for those of the fellas that like more of floral tones in their fragrances, this is great also because it's not pulling sweet to me at all. It's just quite unisex. And the oud, again, it's a little slightly animalic, slightly. Very lavish smelling. This is very lavish, very elegant. In the appropriate setting, I can pull this off. I feel like this is not a casual scent. This screams um, elegant event type of setting when it comes to this fragrance. It's definitely gonna catch your attention. It's smooth, it's silky. The oud is prominent and the rose. It's a little bit of a drier, spicy rose, I wanna say. Mmm, okay. Okay, this is one that is on the okay for me. It's not, I don't know if I love it just yet, 
but I do like that it smells very, very lavish. Like it's a really great uh, interpretation of the ruse and rose and oud combo. But I just wish maybe it was a little sweeter. Just maybe hit me with a little tonka bean in there or maybe hit me with a vanilla note in there um, because I do like a little bit more sweetness in my fragrance. So next up, we're taking it back to Jerzoff, okay? This is Cambridge Club and I am so excited to try this fragrance and just experience unboxing it because I have seen other people unboxing it and it just seems so lavish. And there is this kind of leather case inside of it. I don't know if it's real leather, but oof, right there, right there. I mean, I love the experience of unboxing a niche fragrance because they do the most, as they should, because these price points are not super cheap. So that is the box over here. How extravagant is that? Love it. And then when you open it up, you have this beautiful, love the way that it's kind of wrapped in paper. It's not paper, honey, it's, honey, this is not paper. It's like a cloth material, very smooth to the touch with the Zhezhov embossed onto it in gold. Listen, listen. Give it to me, niche, niche, niche. Oh, unravel her. Oh, there is Cambridge Club. How pretty is that bottle? Oh, she's a beauty of a bottle. I have to give you guys another close up. Look at that. That is extravagant and elegant. Wow. Before we go ahead and smell this fragrance, I know that there is Bulgarian Rose, which is one of my favorite roses in a fragrance. There is coriander, there is vanilla, and some kind of caramel type of note. I believe it's caramel or toffee, one of the two. I'm gonna see if it's overwhelming or not. I mean, I hope it's not as sweet as Italica. Italica is very sweet, very, very sweet. Should I spray this? I don't wanna spray this box, it's so pretty. I'm actually gonna spray it right here on my hand. Oh, that's a lot. A lot came out. Mm, okay. Definitely getting the rose. Very silky smooth. <laughs> Let me get composed. This one is, listen, luxury in a bottle is right here. The way I feel about Enigma from, what's his name again? <laughs> Raja Parfums. That's the way this one is, is making me feel. Very luxe, like luxurious. I'm on a yacht, okay? I am, I'm a millionaire right now. Oh my goodness. It's very unique. And I'm not really picking up too much sweetness. Like there is a very smooth sweetness to this fragrance that is quite approachable to me. It's non-offensive, but this fragrance is lavish, 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 lavish. Definitely getting the rose. And I love that the rose is not this like very wet type of rose. It's a very strong, deep rose. The vanilla is so smooth and well blended. It's not a deep vanilla. It's a little bit of an airy, light vanilla. Oh my, listen, so far out of all of them, this is definitely a hit for me. This is my favorite right now. Right now, this is, de wow. Oh my God. It is silky, smooth, and elegant, and rich. My phone's going off. Very lavish, and um, you cannot go wrong with this scent. Honestly, is it, it, it doesn't lean super feminine, but it has this very gorgeous sweetness tone to it. But I can see a man pulling this off. It is a little sweet for a man, but you can still pull it off. It's not, it's not like Italica. Italica is like a very gourmand, true, deep, creamy, milky gourmand. This one, oh my God. I, it's one of those scents that is hard to describe, 
but is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. So next up, I have a new fragrance to open up from the house of Itat Libre de Orange. I, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, this is the first scent that I've ever um, tried out from this house. Love the presentation already. Like, look at this box. It's actually like a 3D kind of embossed look. I really, really, really like this. And the name of the fragrance is just like speaking to me, soul of my soul. Wow, absolute wow. And when you open up the box, let me just try and open it on camera so you guys can see that effect. It opens up like that. How pretty is that? Did quickly look up the notes for this fragrance and this is meant to be a spicy, ambery scent. Um, there's notes of like bergamot, pink pepper. I'm looking down here, there's suede, rose, vanilla, there's chonka bean, there's benzoin in here and sandalwood. So I'm gonna spray it into the cap. Oh, let me show you guys how the bottle looks before I do that. I really, really am loving this bottle. It is very pretty. All the little details on it, like you cannot go wrong with all the details. Really, really like it. So let's go ahead and spray this one. And if you do have fragrances from this house, definitely let me know in the comment section which one is your favorite. This is wow okay i can smell it it's it's all over the room right now i did two sprays left me speechless i am getting this very spicy vibe like i know it wasn't listed in the notes but i'm getting more like nutmeg cinnamon type of vibes in this one like cooking spices like i'm talking all spice Ooh. Okay. This is definitely a fall winter scent for me. It's spicy, it's warm. Sandalwood definitely prominent in there. A very smooth sandalwood. Not really too sweet. I am picking up a little on that rose, but it's very well blended. But to me, it's more of a spicy scent. Definitely spices in here. You have to like the different spices. Coriander, nutmeg, cinnamon, clove. That's the kind of spices that I'm getting from this one. Easily unisex. I can see a man pulling this off 100% and smelling incredible because it doesn't have a ton of sweetness. The vanilla is there. It's beautiful. Oh my god. It is intense. This one I think is intense because I'm getting a little bit of a, just from like the spray hitting my face, I'm feeling it on my head. So this is definitely an intense fragrance that I feel like you probably wouldn't have to over spray, but that's just my first impression. Oh, spicy. It's reminding me of something and I don't know what it is, but it's spicy. It's slightly smoky, slightly woody but you're definitely gonna get that hit of spice. Oh my God, you don't need to overspray this one. You really don't need to overspray this one. Oh, a little, maybe a touch of incense, a touch of incense, but it's going into that vibe. This is fall, winter, spicy, warm type of scent. A little woody. Wow, this is a good one. This is a good one and I need to smell this on my husband because I feel like on a man it's going to be even better. So last but not least, we have another Jerez Off fragrance and this one is not new. <laughs> it's been out for a while but I've always wanted to try it and this one is called Amabel. I hope I'm saying that correctly and it comes in this box over here. So it does have these little stickers holding it together i'm just gonna rip off i've already taken off the other side and that is the front of the box right here i am very very pleased with all of the jersey so the presentation on these bottles are absolutely insane are you kidding me right now the bottle 
is a it's a material okay it's this velvety velvety material and look at the color oh I almost dropped that look okay let me give you guys a close-up are you kidding me right now look at this color look at the bottle wow wow this one is it, it, it definitely took my breath away definitely I mean just looking at this bottle I'm assuming this is gonna be summer vibes it's very bright very bright okay <laughs> if this gives me fall vibes that would be weird but wow this bottle is spectacular I'm gonna spray it in the box so I did check the notes and I believe this is more of like a fruity type of deal like pineapple oh whoa okay wasn't expecting that I'm getting a pretty deep tobacco note in here but with this fresh kind of tropical vibe in the background but that tobacco -y, smoky ness is pretty prominent which I wasn't expecting okay it's mellowing out which I am enjoying I really want that like tobacco smokiness to definitely subside and get more of a fruity tone tropical tone that's what I'm looking for wow okay let's look up the notes because this smells very very different okay I am on Fragrantica and the main accords is citrus, warm, spicy, aromatic, woody, white, floral, free, vanilla, musky, powdery, and fresh. And as for the notes, we have some pretty bright notes like green apple, uh, bergamot, and lemon, orange blossom, which I didn't get quite at the top. Like I got something very smoky and woody. Middle notes, we have cardamom, pink pepper, jasmine, and in the base, we have Mexican vanilla, cedar, white musk, and patchouli. Okay, that's very weird. The top notes do not smell like the opening at all. To me, the opening came off super smoky and kind of tobacco-y. I really didn't pick up a ton on that green apple or that burst of lemon I didn't pick it up let me spray it on my skin honestly I'm gonna do two sprays and let me smell the opening again okay on my skin totally different <laughs> on my skin I'm definitely picking up the brightness and the citrus tones so paper don't even don't even go with it well this is cardboard right Definitely picking up the brightness, the citrusy tones on my skin. It's very, very fresh. Oh, this is 100% better on the skin. Like, do not test this on paper. It smelled so strange in here. So strange. Yeah, on the skin, I'm getting more of this fresh, citrus, bright type of deal, but it's still very different. I don't know if the mix of the notes didn't go 100%. It's different. It's different, and it's a fragrance that might not be love at first sniff for me, but I have to play around with it to see if it's if it's um a love in the end because I do have a ton of fragrances where I'm like at first like what is that and then I end up loving it over time so this is definitely one of them that I have to say I need to play around with tomorrow is going to be a beautiful bright sunny day I might wear this and see like the vibe that I get it's nice it's nicer on the skin than on paper, but it's not love at first sniff. You know what I mean? This is definitely one that I say, get a sample. Don't blind, bl don't blind buy it. Get yourself a sample first 
and see how it works for your skin. Well guys, that is it for my haul video. I hope you enjoyed it and saw something new and cool. I will list all of the fragrances down in the description box. I got them from Twisted Lily. Again, an amazing website for niche fragrances. And you can use my discount code Karina10 to get yourself 10% off. So take advantage of that while you can. And I'm so glad that I got to play around with all of these extraordinary stunning unique scents definitely leave your comments down below and let me know if you tried any of these and your thoughts on them or a video request what do you want to see next leave it down below and i will see you all in the next video ciao